13 Action News Update sponsored by Bell Medical. I'm Tyne Quinones and right now on your 13 Action News Update, a critical step toward vaccinating children. Well, the FDA's vaccine advisors recommending the Pfizer vaccine for 5 to 11 year olds. The CDC's advisors will now meet next week. Now, if they vote yes, it goes to the director of the CDC for approval. Well, the Southern Nevada Health District says that Moderna and Johnson & Johnson booster shots are now available at its clinic locations. The health district says that you have to be 65 years and older, 18 and older and live in long term care settings or 18 and older with underlying medical conditions. Now, people who work or live in high risk settings also qualify. The Las Vegas police right now, they're investigating a deadly crash involving a wrong way driver. It happened on the north side of the valley. It was just after six o'clock Tuesday evening, right along Rancho Drive near Gowan Road. A Metro police say that an elderly man in a Chrysler 300 was driving on the wrong side of the road when he hit a Ford F-150 head on. According to investigators, the man in the Chrysler was not wearing his seatbelt and died there at the scene. The other driver was not injured. We are kicking off a warming trend that takes us into the weekend, but that comes after a very chilly start to Wednesday morning. We'll wake up to temperatures in the upper 40s and low 50s across the Las Vegas Valley, so it is going to be cold. We would do warm up nicely Wednesday afternoon. Forecast highs back to the low 70s under a sunny sky with calm wind. Sunshine holds through the end of the week and our warming trend continues. We're up to 80 degrees on Saturday. That's when the breeze kicks in in time for Halloween on Sunday. We expect partly cloudy, but dry conditions to hold through uh, Halloween high stay in the 70s into the start of next week. Danny, thank you. And that was your 13 Action News update. Remember, you could always get the latest news at KTNV.com.